Hello everybody. I'm not in blacktail country anymore. What you think about that? Well, yesterday was uh, pretty intense. My legs are toast from hiking through that snow. If you haven't watched uh, the last video from yesterday, I'm gonna put it right there. Who knows if that'll work. My legs needed a rest. Uh, plus I needed to run the heater in the truck for a long while to un unwet, unwet unsoakify my pants and my boots I got tinny runners on today because for one this is like light years easier than what I was in yesterday two my feet just needed to rest from those boots so I'm gonna walk some of this easy mule deer country and see what I can find never been here just drove east parked and we'll walk let's get them the snow is not awesome, but what is awesome, can you see that? All right there. Four point. Ugh. I'm in my tinny runners picking up mule deer sheds. Silly. <laughs> it's kind of chalky. But it's a four point. Sweet. All right, cool. That means I'm in somewhat of a good area, I guess. Beats me. All right. Mule deer horn. It's a uh, chalky. That means nobody's been here for a while. So I'm gonna keep looking and find some more. It's snowing. All I found is that one horn so far. Really pretty. It's falling nice and slow. At least I don't have to do like this into the wind. I want a big fresh horn. Antler. I just want a big one. Big old. Let's where's the big ones? Big ones. Big ones. And I need some. Snacks here, I don't know what this is. It's jerky.com. Really, that's the original. I had a piece earlier, it's actually pretty good. Thick and sweet. Pretty good. I mean, it's no Warner meat snacks, but it'll do in a pinch. So far today, I've done. 4.3. Loop back towards the truck. See what I find on the way and try a new spot. This little guy needs a friend for his backpack ride. He's getting lonely back here. Creek, wash, whatever you want to call it. I mean, frozen water. And I got one. Ancient one here. Oh, that is just. <laughs> modern art masterpiece. All right, let's find some good ones. This thing's older than me. I'm just covering ground. I'm like. If I was pre-fishing a tournament and I was just out there hooking a spinner bait, just power fishing, that's what I'm doing right now. When I find a spot that's like, ooh, there's a horn, and if I find another one, that's when I'm going to slow down and start finessing an area and using my binoculars more. But until then, when I'm just looking, I'm just marching, honestly. 
Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm sure I've passed up a few that I could have probably stopped and gone slow and spotted. But I wouldn't have covered like near the ground. I'd still be two and a half miles back instead of five miles in or however far I am right now. So right now, I'm kind of just uh, death marching. Beef stroganoff. I don't know. Jenna makes pretty mean stroganoff. It's going to be hard to live up to. So, that was a long day. Right at 10 miles. One chalky horn, one old forked horn. I don't know. Places look good, other places look no good. Maybe I'm not cut out for this mule deer stuff. I'm gonna do one last little hike, a couple hours this evening. Um, got the boots back on. They're all dried out. Got some sun here, but I can see a wall coming, so I think it's gonna be short-lived. All right, well, I've been walking and walking and walking and walking. I finally called Garrett in frustration saying like, what the heck man, I thought you said there was horns over here. And as I was walking and walking and yakking, Garrett said, turn left, turn right, turn right, turn left. And I see a horn. Can you see that? Let's go take a look. No. <sighs> oh. God, wombats got to him up here. He's hard white. <laughs> He's big. That thing. He's thick. He's got a big ridge bump right there. It's kind of cool. Sweet. I'll throw this one on the pack and keep hiking. I might mark this spot just so I know how to get back here because in all honesty, while I was talking to Garrett, I wasn't paying attention. I was just walking, 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 and I swung my head over and saw this, and now I need to figure out where I'm at. Well, maybe I'm uh, looking too hard. A spike. <laughs> I don't know. How I can see this makes me think, man, anything, nothing's getting by me. But clearly there's a, there's a lot getting by me today. Well, I'm back in the truck again. It's from Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's my favorite part. I don't know, my Onyx has been on the fritz. Every time that I like put my phone in my pocket and pull it out and like, oh, that's a pretty picture, and I take a picture, go back to my Onyx, would you like to resume your track? Yeah. Why did you stop? Why did you stop, Onyx? I shouldn't have to tell you to resume. I'll tell you when to start, I'll tell you when to stop. It flusters me. I get flustered. I get angered up. That had to have been at least a little quick three mile loop right there. Because Onyx couldn't find me half the time and only kept maybe a third of my track line and it said that I did 1.5, so. 4.5 if it's all two thirds missing added to the one third makes three thirds that'd be psychology major math is not my thing four and a half miles that would be uh, that's a stretch I don't think it was that far we'll say we'll say three and a half added to my ten earlier good morning My 
My boots are still all soaking wet, so this is the best option I got. Crank the heater so I can dry them suckers out. Once they're dry, we're going hiking. If they don't dry, we're still going hiking. Throwing this in the pack, the old chili cheese, the ribs. These things, pomegranate, those are the deliciousness. Best candy ever. But this ain't even a good bag. Look at all them. We got all them greens in there. Nobody wants some greens. Where's the reds? Oh, I gotta vent a little bit. I've been hiking and hiking. And at first I was seeing boot tracks and I'm like, all right, man, they can't find them all. It's public property, national forest, like, no big deal. Beat me here, oh well. Then I start seeing I don't know if you can see that. Four-wheeler tracks. Everywhere zigzagging out here. That's, uh, that's not okay. It's just hard to, I mean, I'm usually super optimistic, always in a good mood, having a good time. But when you see guys that are just doing stuff like that, man, it's, it's hard to just not be a little annoyed, I guess. On a good note, though, digging around in my old junk drawer here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Ha <laughs> ha! Found a Snickers. Save you for a special occasion. Well... Boot tracks, four-wheeler tracks, new area, not even knowing what I'm doing out here. The deck stacked against me. Time to come in the bottom of the ninth and drop a bomb. Win this sucker. Four-wheeler tracks again. I can't, I can't get away from them. They're like, <sighs> Zigzag this whole freaking hillside. They're not even on a two track. There's not even a road nearby. They're just zigzagging across the desert here. Aggravating. One went this way, one went that way, over there, there, this, this, and this over there. And the, the. You know what I've never seen while finding blacktail horns? Four wheeler tracks. I said my piece, I'm done complaining about the four wheelers. Four-wheeler tracks. Did I, did I mention the four-wheeler tracks? I'm gonna find some horns. It's gonna be a good day. We'll find some. There they go. We got one. It's not huge, but it is a horn. And there's four wheeler tracks 100 yards over there. So if you're the lazy turd ripping around on National Forest, just tearing the ground up, you missed one. <laughs> Not very big, <clears throat> but it is fresh. It's funny to me. It would take Blacktail three years to get this white. <laughs> Here it is, fresh mule deer horn. And it's white already. I'm sure these dorks found some, but they can't find all of them. So I plan on finding the rest. The extra credit buck. If you don't know what the extra credit buck is or means, leave a comment asking what the extra credit buck means. And I'll explain to you. I don't know, should I be in this pinion-y stuff? Should I be in the junipers? Should it be in the little sage, the medium sage, or the big shit sage, the rock fields, the Ponderosa Pat, I don't know. 
but this spot looks good. So I'm gonna hike here. A water bottle. It's the mine. So I uh, leaned down to pick it up. And when I did, I spilled my Fritos. Someone else's trash, thought I'd do a good deed and pick it up. And it cost me Fritos. Sad day. Probably five miles from my truck, I guess, way out here. And I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get out away from everybody. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be horns laying all over the place. I'm gonna have to call in for reinforcements and get a helicopter's pilot's license to fly them out. Nope. I just came on down here to see nothing but four wheeler tracks. Eat my chips since everybody knows I can't eat them at home. Because my wife says I eat them funny. I had to walk out here in the woods and eat them. You ever get fooled so good by a stick horn that when you get up to the stick horn, it looks so much like a horn that you, you pick it up anyways and then you carry it for a while hoping that somehow it'll like turn into an actual antler. Yeah, I've never done that either. Well, it's been a long time <clears throat> since the last horn. I'm out here in the middle of this bouldery minefield of stuff. And suddenly, there's a horn. Where's all the fresh ones? Where's your buddy? <laughs> At least it's a horn. Gosh dang, I've been hiking forever. This is an old chalky pinkster. Pretty sure this might be the last you see of this camera. Just trying to set it up for uh, this shot right here. Tripod falls apart, falls off right in the sand. One of the more frustrating days I've had in a while. If you're the guy with the four wheeler, I just picture you as just a big greasy tub of lard. Oh, there's a shed horn. Oh, there's a shed horn. Oh, look at that one. I'll throw it on the four-wheeler. I can't. Oh, it's too far to get off. It's just chalk. Oh. Good days make days like this manageable. If every day of shed hunting was like this, I probably would still do it because I'm a weirdo but the days where you hike and you find 10 or more just make these kind of days worth it see you guys tomorrow Let's see if I can crawl back up in here and turn this sucker off and Poor little camera.